Hello YouTubers and welcome to another Yorkies Bits and Bobs. Today we are doing an installation and it's going to be my Zotec graphics card, my 1080. Yep. I've had this for a while now and just been too busy to install it and wanted to make sure I've done a good video for you. And also I wanted to show any novice out there how to install a graphics card and what to look out for when installing the graphics card. So with that in mind, my first thing is to uh, warn you of is static electricity. The human body produces static electricity. And uh, to get rid of this, you need to either touch something that's metal or something you can earth yourself out on. So for instance, you know, metal plate inside your PC or your casing. Or you can wear a static wristband. And the, the way that works, it goes round your wrist and you earth the other end somewhere, either on your PC or on something metal, whatever. So that's the first thing to remember. The second thing is, these, especially a card like this, needs a lot of power to it. So you've got to make sure your power supply is more than capable of uh, running something like this. So you need, it says on the box itself, you need at least a 500 watt. I have a 1000 watt P, uh, power supply now, or it's called a PSU. And um, it's probably overkill actually, but I'd rather have too much or not enough. It'll only take what it needs anyway. Uh, the other thing to remember is on the connections, and the graphics card I have in there at the moment, that has a 8 and a 6 uh, pin connection. This has an 8 and an 8. You can see that. So make sure you've got the right connections for your um, uh, graphics card. Uh, mine has a spare one on the end, so it will will take it. So I don't even have to use the connections that come with it. Because most of them will send you uh, uh, connections anyway with the uh, graphics card. And the third thing is when installing a graphics card. Uh, important to install the uh, right drivers for it and the best way especially if you're a novice is to install from the CD that comes with it it'd be probably be out of date the drivers that are in here but at least you'll have the right drivers in there and it will update anyway it will put the new ones in after or it will come up and tell you there's a newer version out at some stage in the future and plus there's some extra software on here, especially for this one which is uh, to do with uh, colour coding and things like that. So you can change the colour so it lights up, I believe that bit lights up. Uh, I think there's that push the limit that lights up and I think there's a bit of light in that. Yeah, these there, see that, them four there, they all light up so it gives it a bit of colour. And I'll probably be doing it blue because my theme is blue. So I'm going to keep it blue. Another thing I'd like to show you, just put that down for a minute, is on my power supply, on my computer, sorry, not my power supply, but if I zoom in a bit. The two pipes on, the, on there. Right, these here, well this one here originally was in here and was going out here. I've had to measure up and my graph new graphics card that I'm putting in is actually too big. It was rubbing against that this pipe because that's coming out there. So I've had to pre-move it. So I've had to uh, drain all the system out. Uh, so you probably know it's got a few air bubbles in there. Just move the camera back. Anyway, I thought I'd measure it for you so you've got an idea of how big this thing is. Uh, so if you do it from a uh, if you do it from there to there, uh, that's 32 centimetres. Let's see if I can show you so you've got a proper idea of how big this thing really is. And it's important because you've got obviously, if you're going to put something like this in your, in your case, see that? It goes back there. You're going to put something like this in your case, or you're going to buy something like this. You want to make sure it fits, or you're going to have to uh, send it back or buy a bigger case. So, with that in mind, let's get on with the installation, shall we? 
So the first thing to do is to power her off. Okay. Right, that's all powered off. You'll notice they've got um, two green lights on there. Some graphics cards have them on, and some uh, graphics cards don't have them uh, LED lighting. So I'm going to turn it off on the mains, on the back of it, pull the plug out. There you go, for safety. Now, it still will have electricity. It should be pretty safe, but every now and again, if you haven't got a static um, wristband, just touch a bit of metal, just to earth yourself out. Right, first job is to unplug this from here. So you unplug the power. Quite easy. There you go. So you're not going to have to use this one as well. Can you see that? Yes, I think you can. I will zoom you in a little bit. There you go. Bit down. Sorry about this. There you go. Right. Yeah, so this is the one that wasn't being used. So I've got eight there and six there plus that one. So that's eight and eight. Next, you'll need a screwdriver, Phillips screwdriver, we call them over here, or posi screw driver. And I have three, screw, uh, three screws in there to hold this one up, because this is quite a heavy one as well. So, can you see that right? You might want to come around a bit more. That's one. When you take the last one out, make sure you give it a bit of support because you don't want it damaging the motherboard. Three. Looks alright. There's a little clip around the back here somewhere, just in now. So you just push that and it allows it to come out. Oh, don't forget to unplug the HDMI lead or whatever lead you're using. Uh, there's my old one, you can see it's quite a big one as well, only got two fans on it, one's a bit of a clean, that's going to go to a new home, some lucky person is going to get this, so I'll put that to one side for now, right, let's get the new one in, and get the earth out again, so first of all you need to remove these plastic covers, or that one anyway, and I'm going to leave the rest on, I'm going to leave that on and that on uh, for now and these except for that one which is the HDMI uh, connection uh, these are, them ones there, there's three of them they are um, uh, video connections which I've uh, had to order some leads for so that I can use them, so anyway, quite easy to do push it in, that's in, so uh, again you're going to have to support it, so I've got red light on now, so that means it's got no power in it obviously, because it's not connected, and there's still enough electricity to power it up, so with this, I'm going to have to make sure I get this right, got to push it over a bit, so once you've got your uh, screws back in, make sure to do them up tight, because that will T uh, take some of the weight uh, you might think about putting some sort of support under this because it's quite a big card and there's been a lot of people worried about it breaking let's just move that back out a bit oh, wrong way uh, or you can put like a stand there to support it it's, it's up to you I mean I'm not going to do anything for now I think it'd be fine uh, but I might do something in the future uh, so that's in. So next thing is to do the power. So do the one on the left first. So that's in. And then the one on the right, you've got to use this extra one. So it's eight and eight. I'll make sure the little one goes. It can be the right way around. Because chances are, I've probably got upside down this one. You just know it, don't you? Let's go. Let's have a look. That's the right way then. Cool. I should be able to get them all in to get there you go. Just make sure they click in. So that's it, you've got green lights, so that means you've got all the power. 
That's so it tidy up the wiring. That's my little uh, heat sensor there. And that's basically it. So that's the uh, graphics card installed. As you can see, quite easy. Just make sure you push it in there first. Do your screws up and make sure you've got power. If you've got red light, then you've got a problem. Either your connections are not in properly or something else. But you do need a lot of power for these little babies. So with that, we'll close you up. Actually, I might show you with the door open so you can uh, see what it looks like. I'll just check my monitor, make sure it's on. It is. So, here we go then, power it on. Oh, that looks nice. LED there, LED up, up there. Don't know if you can see that, move the camera around. Yeah, so you've got an LED there, LED there. Obviously I've got LEDs all blue. And I believe you can change all the colours. And there's LEDs underneath. Let me show you. There you go, LEDs underneath as well. So there you go. Pause it. So we'll uh, load up the uh, computer. So I skipped a little bit. So what you do basically, you put your disk in. Load up the software, which is a driver installation, install software driver, so you click on that, choose which one you want, which in this case is a 1080, uh, select your Windows 10, and click OK, and away she goes, and then it will take probably about 5 to 10 minutes, depending on your uh, PC, and then you will get this up, your screen will go black, or, yeah, black, and then back to normal again and then we're allowed this screen and it says scan for games and then you've got drivers so check for updates it's already done it for us look geforce game ready drivers so click on that it's going to download it unable to connect to nvidia try again later oh, okay try that again oh that was later okay check for updates then So it might be my firewall settings I might have to uh, change. Something to remember. Yeah, anyway, we'll do that later. So we're not worried about that bit. And then you've got this Firestorm installation, which is the main bit I want to uh, install. So we'll click on this. Drives spinning up. There you go. Select yes, put it on C drive, because that's where I want it anyway. Fast access. So, is that it? Is she done? Is she there yet? Probably need to do a restart. Let's see if this works straight away. So, click on that. There you go. I mean, look at that. Looks really good. Quite like the look of that. So, what, what do you have? So, you've got uh, your GPUs. I've only got one, but you can have up to four graphics cards. Uh, you've got your fan speeds here, so it shows you what your fan speeds are. I've got it on auto, you can set a manual, advanced, and then you've got your spectra. This is what I'm really interested in. Right, it's set on blue, uh, but I'm going to change it to red. I'm going to change the logo to red and the armor to yellow. No, I'll change it to green. Apply. So let's have a look. I'll uh, open the door, because that door just shut, just to show you, and there you go, let me know what you think. So let's have a look, scroll it in a bit, it probably look better at night, but I quite like that actually, green and blue, uh, green and red, sorry, so you've got green, blue and red in there. Uh, if you're watching, right, I'm going to change the, um, change it. Uh, armor to red and that's all red uh, pink change the uh, logo to green 
when we've got blue actually, but oh, is it's a light blue, sorry. I've clicked on what there's a green, that looks quite nice. And even on a white. So a couple of whites, armour and that. Yeah, quite like that, quite impressed. That's very well, very flashy I think. Yeah. And you can uh, change it to static. Uh, breathing, strobe, oh, let's try breathing. Do a bit of breathing. So we'll go to blue and breathe. Oh, yeah, on and off. She's alive. Well, we've got strobe. Let's try strobe. <laughs> that looks pretty cool. And cycle. Let's try cycle. So I assume in cycles we'll cycle through all the colours. Oh yes. And uh, I'll move you a bit closer. Oh, sorry about that. There you go. Zoom out of touch. So I'll try and do a, um, a night time one. So you can see it in the dark. Right, so that's it. Thank you for watching. If you have uh, any comments, please post them below. And uh, I'll try and give you a couple of links for the uh, graphics card, uh, probably on Amazon. Uh, I'll do two. I'll do the Amazon uh, UK and the Amazon US. I can't do all the Amazons, but I'll, I'll do them two for you. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you didn't like it, give me a thumbs down. Thank you for watching. It's been hard work this one. Thank you.